All right, y'all. This video right here is just going to be a kind of random video of what's been going on, things that y'all miss. Okay, I got a customer. Let me get this customer. All right, so I'm going to let y'all see what I've been doing. Look, I was trying to come on here and film, but the names for the back of that shirt, actually, they are finished. They are finished. So I'm going to show y'all. Let me see. I think it's finished. Yeah, it's done. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to cut this off. Yeah, I still have not figured out the thing with this uh with this cut i mean with this printer the cutter on the printer yet so i'm gonna have to figure that out and make sure i don't let that touch the ground we're gonna go ahead and get this off right here all right so like with the 24 the 24 inch ones, 22 by 24 transfers, they are harder to do. Um, this is longer than 22 by 24, but because it's not thick, you know, it's, it's a thinner transfer. It's easier to do it, just rolling it down and back. As y'all see right there, let me go ahead. All right, that's the color it's looking like. So I'm gonna go ahead and go put it on the conveyor dryer. I'm gonna let that little lumpity lump go by. Got a lot on my mind, hate that my baby is gone. Uh, she left me alone and she ain't answering the phone. I'm calling her mama and she ain't answering the phone. I ain't calling her daddy because he be so. This is what what it's looking like. That's what the color is looking like. I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna show y'all what I was doing because this color I don't know if this color is a perfect match this time, but it's it's pretty close. I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna let y'all check it out and I'm gonna explain to y'all what I've been doing for half of this doggone day. All right, all right. So what I ended up doing today, and hopefully y'all can see pretty good. Let me turn this around the other way. I think the lighting will be better if I show it from this way. Okay, so I had printed out a long sheet like this with all the names on it because I was like, okay, I got the, the hex code for the color, but it didn't work out how I thought it would have worked out. So what I ended up doing was going back and I made it like smaller and I like printed out several different names right here, several different names and I saved them and that way I could keep the hex codes and know which one was the closest or a perfect match if I found a perfect match. So that was what I did. All I did was like just print out a whole bunch of different you know, different things like this. And, um, and then I thought that I had the one that was, that was going to match because I just kind of looked at it. I'm going to show you, like, I kind of looked at it on the shirt. Like if you look at this right here, this looks pretty dark. It looks pretty dark right there, but it's the same one as the one. Let me turn it this way. Cause y'all can see it better. It's the same one right here that says price the one that says price right here and this one is slightly lighter than that but this is the one that says price and this is what it looks like on the film so i don't know if y'all can see a difference i can tell the difference right here okay so i i, I went ahead and printed out on the shirt but the first thing that i did i printed this out this last name right here and as you see as you see it's a good difference in those two colors you can see that those are not the same colors so what I did when I um, 
when I print it out, when I print it out right here, let me see, when I printed out price right there, I felt like that was a, a close match. It was a, a, you know, a pretty close match out of the ones that I have right here. I don't know if y'all can even see it that good, but out of the ones that I have right here, I felt like price was pretty much pretty much the best match right there even though it is not perfect and exact but i think that's what we're gonna go with so that's what we got right there price right there we got the green right here and i don't know i'm just like i don't know that that's i think the best that we're gonna get right there with price if y'all can see it good so um what i'm gonna do uh, since I have already pressed this one and I'm going to see if I can salvage this one. I'm going to cut the, the right name out for it and I'm going to see if I can press it right on here. And if I can press it right on there and salvage that one, that'll be awesome. That way I won't, ha I do have extra, but I won't have to use that extra. I can save it for the next time because they're probably going to order either gold or green next time and that way i'll have the extras and all i have to do is order the number that they have like when i'm doing orders like this i always make sure that i order extra so like if i need to do a test print to test out the material or whatever i can do it on different sizes because i usually have one of each size extra and then sometimes you will have people that want an extra one or kids that lose them I drop my glasses or kids that lose them and then you know you'll end up needing the extra one because they'll want to buy it from you so you know it's always good to have some extras so i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna press this on and then i'm gonna um i'm gonna let y'all see all right since i already got the other one pressed on there i think it'll be easier if i switch because that name is short if i switch and i use this small platen so i'm gonna grab it right quick and put it on here. And we're going to see what it looks like. All right, it's not lining up perfectly probably because I stretched it. Probably because I stretched it. So I'm going to have to cut the letters individually. I'm going to um, do all of that and then I'm going to come back and let y'all check it out. All right, I got them on here. I don't even know if they are on there straight or whatever. I'm thinking I'm going to have to print another one. So I just used some heat tape. Let me let y'all close up on it. But I just used some heat tape to tape it together to try to salvage it. But I, don't, I still don't know. I don't know because it looked like I'm seeing a little green from up under there. So, But we're going to go ahead. We're going to press it on here anyway. That will give us a good idea of how it's going to look. All right, and y'all, this new uh, this new transfer paper, it don't see, it seems like it cools off real quick. Seems like it cools off real quick. Let me see. All right. Let me go ahead and take it off. I don't know, y'all. I'm not really liking what it's looking like because it's looking black on there. That's looking black. And this is what it's looking like right here. So I don't know. I don't know what to do. Maybe I should just go with the one that I have and just redo this. And it's just not going to be the, the right color. They're just not going to be the same color, I guess. I thought it was better. Let me check this one. Maybe I printed the wrong one because it was a little bit confusing. Yeah, because that is darker. Y'all see that? That do look darker. I don't know. That's the, the worst thing about uh, the DTF is trying to get the colors right. This looks like it's the right color. Maybe I printed the wrong one. I don't know. I don't know. I, I think I might, um, I might do one more little experiment and print 
number three because this was number two that I printed. I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna print number three and I'm gonna try that. And if number three don't work, then I'm just gonna have to go with the ones that's not the exact color, and that'll be good because I have them already all lined up. Um, if you see over there and right there, right right over here and over there and over here on the counter, I already have all of those kind of lined up and ready to go. So I guess I'll let y'all see the final shot of uh, my nose sweating. Guess I'll let y'all see the final shot of the one that I decide to use. All right, y'all. I went ahead and went with that first green that I did and my son, he over there folding those up. Um, that's what we got right there. Uh, I'm about to uh, grab the box. Um, hopefully everything will fit in this box and I'm just gonna put it in there. That one last size large is over there. Yeah, it's so good when you have help, y'all. It, it's so good. Cause I'm telling you, things been, been trying to be crazy around here. That's the last small that you got. And once you do that, I'll go ahead and box them up. What'd you say? Oh, uh, look, look what my employee did y'all. Y'all look at this. Would y'all be proud of that? If y'all, I got them, I got them. Cause I probably made them fall, fooling with them. All right, we gonna go on and put them in the box. But those polyester shirts do slide around, so I, I can't fault him too much. I can't say too much about what he did because the polyester shirts slide around. So we're just going to put all the smalls on this side. And let me see. The smalls and the mediums going to go on this side. And it's going to be way more of those. I was going to embroider her a shirt. That's another large that he got. So we got them right here. Um, this box right here, I could resize it. I'm gonna see if I got a smaller box back there that I can change it out, but I'm thinking I probably don't. He's trying to do that one perfect, y'all. Is that three? Three, I mean. That's probably all I'm gonna do for today unless I add some more to this video. And if you're still watching and you're not subscribed, what is you doing? Go ahead, hit that subscribe button and make sure you hit that notification bell so that you won't miss out on any of my future videos. And if you're interested in any of the equipment and supplies that I use, check down below this video in the description box. I always leave links for you guys and I will see you in another episode. But until then, be blessed.